note to self, note to future self, don't cut your hair again. <laughs> because if not, you'll, you'll just end up with interesting hair, whatever. <laughs> yeah, my hair is funky, don't care. Um, today, I was going to make a video on how interesting life is. Have you guys noted that? I made like videos on this before. It's like you could be traveling towards the same destination um, in a car with another person and you guys will be experiencing life in a whole different way. <laughs> like I, in, in previous videos, I have noted that um, like for me, I don't know, when I'm in the car, guys, I don't know. Time just moves differently for me. Also, like my focus is on a lot of things that some of the people who are accompanying me um, are obviously not honed, honed in, are not honing in on, or not tuned into, and vice versa. Like for instance, I, I will revisit the story. <laughs> Let's say like I am heading towards the same destination in the same vehicle as another person. Like I am literally staring at trees. I am staring at clouds. I'm looking at sunshine. I'm looking at the sky, the rainbow. If there's an animal, I'll be like, oh my God, there's a cow, you know? And like, I don't know, like this is a seriously an example. And then the person who's in the car with me will be like staring at like, I don't know, like people who are like road raging and I don't know like just really conflicted you know and I'm just like what what what's going on like okay <laughs> you know totally like not focused on stuff like that um and then like another interesting story that I had so I used to work at this hardware store for some years and um I worked in the garden department. I loved working there. It's like around the plants and stuff. So fun. And, um, I don't know. So like a lot of the customers I would encounter, like I want to say like more than usual, a lot of them would be like highly spiritual, um, or they would be psychic, you know, like I, for instance, I'll give you examples. So like I was like in an aisle and I was front facing everything and I would encounter someone and I don't know how the conversation would like start, but like that's how like I met someone who told me about like Paramahansa Yogananda, you know, and um, yeah, like I was just like, oh, who is that? And they're like, oh, you know, it's this like person who like talks about like these things. And, you know, it totally piqued my interest. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to learn more about this Paramahansa Yogananda. And now I have volumes of books by Paramahansa and I have learned so much interesting things just by like meeting this person. And I don't think it was, um, happenstance. I think a lot of the experiences we have are divinely orchestrated based on your level of consciousness and awareness, you know, and what you need to know in that moment to progress spiritually. Wait, hold on. Another encounter that I really like vividly remember, I came across this customer and he was wearing this seed around his neck. And I had never seen a seed like that before but I was like drawn instantly to it. And I was just like, whoa, like, is that a seed? Like, are you wearing a, what is that? Like, what is that? And I don't know, the guy was kind of arrogant, but you know, I, I just couldn't take my mind off of the seed. And I was just like, yeah, like, what is that? Is that a seed? Like, where'd you get that from? That's so cool. And the guy was like, oh, it's a Redraksha seed. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I've never seen that before. That's so cool, you know? And I'm like, what is it? We draw and I literally like wrote down like what this was, you know? And um, 
you know, going deeper into it, like, turns out um, the Hindus, like, consider these seeds as, like, um, a form of protection, and they're also known as Shiva's, Shiva's tears, and they're, it's like a, I don't know, whatever. It's supposed to protect you. And, um, turns out, like, there's, like, a Hindu temple, like, an island away, and I literally was able to visit, like, the only Rudraksha forest in the U.S., and I gathered my own seeds from that forest, and I made my little pendant. So, again, divinely orchestrated, you know? It's just not happenstance, guys. You meet everybody, and there's a reason and a purpose behind it. There's a lesson, or there's like information that is meant to be passed on you know anyways <laughs> i keep looking at the hair and i'm like what can i do about it i can't do anything just accept it <laughs> but um i also like remember like very vividly like seriously this, there's like certain situations that i absolutely forget and there's certain situations in life that have like such a profound impression on me that i i can like still like revisit that memory very vividly in my head but I was helping some guy out with a barbecue and um I don't know I guess this guy liked my vibe my energy and he was like man you're so nice like can I see your hand and I was like oh I'm like you want to see my hand and he's like yeah I, I read palms like let me see and so I showed him my palm and he was like pretty accurate he was like I see the ocean in your hand um you're going to travel like a lot. And, you know, out of curiosity, I'm like, do you see kids? And he's like, oh, I see two kids. But I also see the possibility of you having none. And I guess he saw my face and I looked a little worried. And he was like, don't worry. He's like, whether you have children or not, you're going to be fine. You're going to be happy. And I was like, whoa, okay. And he, he gave me other details and I was just like, I was just like, oh, okay, cool. And yeah, honestly, like those things came true. <laughs> but, um, I also met some other dude, like super weird. This guy was like hyper present. Like I remember like I was like, again, I was front facing because I like front facing. It's, it keeps you profoundly present, you know, like you don't know what front facing is when you're in a store and you're looking at products in an aisle. Like, I don't know if you've noted, but, like, a lot of the product is pulled forward, like, and lined up with the, like, the front of the shelf that's front-facing. Just to, like, make, I don't know, for aesthetics, I suppose. And also so that you don't have to reach so far behind to grab the, the product you want. You know, it's just right in the front. But, um, yeah, some, some dude was, like, super profoundly present. Like, I don't know if you guys are, like, aware of this guy named Osho. Um, Osho, if you haven't heard of him, holy camoly, I highly recommend. And maybe I was meant to give you that information. The way the guy gave me Paramahansa Yogananda, like, drop that name, name drop. But, um, Osho, like, if you, if you haven't seen this guy's videos, man, this guy is, like, present, like, his eyes don't blink and he's just like he's like too he's tapped in man. <laughs> he's tapped in he doesn't blink and he's just like super just drawing information from the ethers you know but anyway yeah that's the kind of guy I met in this aisle one day and he just like walked past and he like dropped some like personal information on me and I was just like what like he would basically like called out my zodiac sign and then he called out the zodiac sign of my partner at the time. And, uh, um, and then he also just looked at me and said, like, you, you should go fishing. You will find much peace when you go fishing. And I was like, what? Because at the time, I, I freaking hated fishing. I just didn't like, like, it's weird. I didn't like, I didn't like hurting animals. <laughs> Like, I was hypersensitive to that, and I was, I, I didn't like fishing, because I just didn't like the idea of, like, like, the hook in the animal, and then, like, watching them flop around, and then, like, I don't know, I just didn't like it. 
and people hated fishing with me because I would be like, throw the fish back. Oh my God, you're hurting it. Or, and if they wanted to take the fish home, I would like literally, this was the, the version I was in at the time, but I was like, oh my God, like their boyfriend or girlfriend's going to be so sad if you don't put them back in the, in the ocean. So people didn't like fishing with me because I'd freak out because <laughs> I could feel the, the, I could feel the fish's pain. I think you can resonate with that if you're an empath, you know, and you can feel other people's and other beings' energies. But anyways, yeah, he was like, you should go fishing. You can find a lot of peace. And I was like, what? And you know what? Fast forward, like, down to, like, last year, like, I, I, I went fishing quite often with, I went fishing quite often. And it was very peaceful. It was some of the best moments of my life, if I were to be completely honest going fishing anyways where was I going with this story um I had a co-worker that worked at the same hardware store and I remember we were exchanging like stories on like customer interactions and And I was telling him how, like, I would encounter all these, like, really nice people, like, really spiritual people, like, psychics and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I even had, like, customers come and, like, come into the store and look for me just to give me, like, crystals. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Um, yeah, or reading material. Which is odd, because I'm in a hardware store, you would think that <laughs> things like that wouldn't happen. Um, but anyways, yeah, I was, um talking with another coworker and we were discussing customer interactions and I was telling him how like I encounter all these different people and he looked super baffled and he was like what he's like all the people I encounter are like angry and rude and I'm like what I said oh I said all the people I've encountered have been like super nice you know and like spiritual and stuff I'm sorry if I'm getting emotional guys but, um, he was like, no, all the customers I encounter are like super angry and super rude. And they're like, how come you don't have this in stock? And do 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 And I'm like, whoa. So I go, uh, again, this ties into like how two people can be in the same like environment, but have completely different experiences. And I really attribute it to the level of consciousness awareness and maturity and also the lens that you want to perceive life through you know and knowing this the whole point of this video is knowing this you know if life isn't going the way you want it to it's just like ask yourself like what kind of lens am i viewing life through you know and also like if i am encountering like hardships or pain or tension it's just like know what is the lesson I'm supposed to learn in this because obviously this is a breakthrough moment you know and if I continue inquiring it'll like push me further into a higher timeline and a higher version of myself you know and when I say higher I mean like a truer version of yourself a more authentic version of yourself um last story just to like drill it all home I remember when um, last year I went to the mainland and I went there to go like road tripping I was there for like a couple of months um, I encountered my friend's family at the time and they were telling me all this negative stuff like oh you know driving on the freeway is scary and everybody honks at you and people are not nice here people are rude and I literally experienced the opposite no I loved driving on the freeways um nobody honked at me and everybody I encountered on the mainland was very very friendly very helpful very like considerate like I would go out on my own and do like hiking trails and um, I remember like just random straight well, is it random <laughs> strangers that pass by me would ask me if I was okay and if I needed water 
And are you sure? Because I have extra water. And I'd be like, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. You know? And I remember, like, I, before I went hiking, you know, because I was not familiar with the environment, um, you know, there was a little, like, anxiety. I'm just like, do I have the right hiking gear? You know, should I be dressing a certain way? I'm, you know, this is totally foreign to me. And I asked um, one of the residents, like, oh, like, is it okay if I just go hiking in my sandals? And this person obviously was, like, in a, I want to say, less aware state, but she was kind of, like, I want to say, um, promoting fear. And she was saying, oh, you, you know, you need hiking boots and you need to dress like this and that. And honestly, like when I went hiking, I just freaking went in my sandals. At some point, I went barefoot in the desert and I was fine. And in fact, it was, it was actually, I, I had no problems. Like climbing cliffs or like walking on in the sand, I just went barefoot and it was fine, you know. So like I said, it just depends on people's level of consciousness, awareness, and maturity, and depending on how clear you are and how close you are to being more authentic, you will attract such things into your life, you know? Anyways, I've been talking a lot today. God, I'm like, I don't know. Anyways, if you learned something from this video, cool. If you didn't, that's cool too. Blessings to one and all. Amen.